Hey everyone, I'm Hoop Smiles and I'm with Abby today and I'm going to teach you how to use a smart hula hoop. Abby is going to be the one to use this smart hula hoop right here. So let's go ahead and get started first by putting this on. So the key here, depending on what smart hula hoop you have, basically you're just going to unbuckle these little black buckles right here and you're just going to put that around your body and when you put the smart loop on, what I would recommend doing is putting it around the part of your body where you would naturally spin a hula hoop, which is typically around sort of your belly button area of your stomach. Now, for some smart hula hoops, that could be a little bit different. You may want to put it slightly uh, down more, maybe closer to your hips. How does this feel, Abby? It's a bit loose. What I would recommend doing is taking out some links and you want to get that smart hula hoop so it's snugly fitting up against your body, but you don't want it too tight so it's uncomfortable. So this is something where you're just going to have to kind of feel this for yourself. So let's go ahead and take some pieces off here. So right now, I believe she currently is wearing 22 links. Okay, so once you got it uh, fitting around, then the next step here is you want to make sure that you have the centrifugal ball adjusted to the right distance away from you. So if, if you are a complete beginner at this, then I would recommend having the ball be as far as you can get it to be uh, from your body. And I think we might have it adjusted as far as it can be at the current moment. The reason why you want to have the ball to be further away is because when the ball is further away, it spins slower around your body, which can make it easier. And when that ball is adjusted closer, it can spin a lot faster, which makes it harder. But that's also great for working out with because if you want to get a nice workout, then you might want to have the ball closer However, it might be a little bit more challenging to do. Now we're moving on to how you use the, this smart hula hoop right here. In terms of the motions for doing this, the first step is you're basically going to take the centrifugal ball in your hand and you're just going to give it a nice big throw around your body. And when you are throwing that ball, you don't want to throw it up or, you know, throw it down. You want to sort of give it a nice throw that's more or less parallel to the ground. And then the next step is it can be similar to spinning a hula hoop. And what I would recommend doing is maybe just putting one foot in front of you and you do more of a rocking back and forth motion from your core, okay? so from this part of your body and you want to stand up straight so this is one way that you can do it so let's start out that way first okay so take that centrifugal ball and you're going to give it a nice big spin all right how does that feel good <laughs> all right <laughs> Okay, so now what I want to do, th this Where is- Where am I losing This it? is actually great, we're, what we're doing here. I would like you to bring it down a little bit further. Otherwise, we can go ahead and add some more links. Okay. Now go ahead and try it, because okay. I think you actually had the smart too loop high. too high. Okay. Oh yeah. How is that? Is that Way better? better. So that is something you might want to think about. If you're really struggling to get this going, you might want to bring the smart hula hoop down lower on I your think body. Maybe we should add another yeah, link. Yeah, let's, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add an extra link here. Go ahead and give it a spin and let's see how that works. How's that now? A lot better. And if you are maxing out all the pieces, if you have all 24 pieces in, then you may need to buy some extra pieces from online. But you know what? I'm actually curious. Let's add this extra piece in there. So now she has all 24 pieces in there. All right. How is it now? Um, I can't tell quite yet if it's easier or not. I need to do it for a second. I think it was a bit easier when it was up above my hips. I might have spun it too slow this time. Okay, but you seem to be doing okay here. Yeah. When you wear the smart hula hoop, you want to make sure that it is parallel with the ground. Right now, Abby has the back part of the, the smart hula hoop more up on her back. So if you notice, it's kind of going diagonal. So if you, if you try to spin it, so go ahead and spin it like that. <laughs> and I want to see how this is for you. So how was that spinning it with it higher on your back? It doesn't feel good at all. It moves up and down and you, you can't control it. Yes. So now what I want you to do is, so turn back to the side and I want you to adjust that smart loop down uh, your body and make sure that it's more parallel with the ground so that the backside is not going diagonal up the back. So now go ahead and give it a, a spin. 
How does it feel now? So much better. So that is something to think about. Look at where the smart hoop is on your body. You know, you might need to readjust it to make sure that smart hoop is more parallel with the ground so that that hoop is not going at a diagonal angle on your body. But now I just want to try something. Let's go ahead and adjust the centrifugal weight here to be as close as we can get it to your body. So go ahead and give that a spin. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can do it. How does that it's really feel hard. when it's... It's really hard. <laughs> so is, is it a lot harder when the ball is closer? Oh, yeah. So that really is a big key to everyone out there. You want to make sure that you have the centrifugal ball adjusted to the right length. So for the right length, for a lot of beginners out there, it'll likely be to the furthest it can be from your body. But if you are struggling with that furthest distance, then maybe try adjusting it to be a little bit closer, just to giving it a try out to see if it works having it closer. Now the centrifugal ball is back at the further distance. And so I just want to ask you, how is it going so far? Good. Good. Okay, that is good to hear. How did the rocking back and forth position go? Good. Good. Okay, so really that worked good. out. Yeah. So another position that uh, some people can sometimes try when you first start to learn how to hula hoop is you can do the shoulder width stance. So if you put your feet about shoulder width apart, now you can try to rock sort of side to side. So I want you to try that. So okay. now spin it around and now go side to side. All right. How does that feel? Is that harder? It is harder because it's not as natural to me because I'm used to doing it the other way. It sounds like the rocking back and forth is the best feel That's for you. That's my favorite, yeah. And, and here's the thing, when, when you are doing this, when you first start out, there's not really a technical way that you're supposed to do this, where it's like you're, you have to rock back and forth or you know go side to side. But really find the way that's gonna be best for you. You know, if it's better for you to, to rock back and forth or if it's better for you to stand side to side, try, try one of those first, get, get uh, better at just doing that and then try doing the other position. Also true, to uh, try spinning it in the opposite direction. So go ahead and spin it in the opposite direction. How does that feel? It feels a little bit awkward, but I can do it. <laughs> now, this is very common when people uh, hula hoop for the first time, that it can be challenging to spin it in the opposite direction. Yeah. So if that's the case, I do recommend that you practice spinning it in both directions. Just for fun, we went ahead and added some extra string to this uh, to make the centrifugal ball even go out further from the smart hoop. So I'm curious if this will make it easier. So this is easier. Yes. So to the people out there who are watching right now, then I would recommend trying that. Maybe tr taking like a piece of twine or something and just, you know, extending your, your centrifugal ball just a little bit further might actually make it easier for some people out there. Now, in terms of how far you should extend it, you know, that's up to you. You may have to experiment with that. But wow, look at that. I mean, you're doing this great. So now that you have done this with the centrifugal ball, you know, pretty far away from your body versus how it was without the string, which, which do you prefer? You know what, for just having fun, I prefer it with the string. Really? If, if I was working out, I would prefer it at the longest length okay. of the regular without the without string. Without the string. Okay. Wow, so that's pretty huge. So some of these smart hoops for people out there, if you're trying these and you can't get it, it may not be long enough. So that might be really the key for a lot of people is just making it longer. Yeah, because the first time I tried it, I had a really hard time getting it going. So now I'm going to adjust the centrifugal ball so it's about halfway. It's not going to be the furthest distance, but it's also not going to be the closest distance. So go ahead and try that. And so let's see what happens. How does that feel? I don't know. I think it might be a little bit harder. <laughs> okay. So you still might be on the furthest distance. So that's something that you can practice as you get better. Go ahead and adjust that centrifugal weight to be closer. Do it just kind of in stages, maybe just bring it a little bit closer. And then as you get better, just keep bringing it as close as you can until you can get to that closest distance to your body. What, so what is your clothing size? I actually wear a size 16 pants and a large top. And a large top, okay. Yeah. 
I feel like that's really great information because right now, if this uses all the 24 pieces that go around your body, that may be something to think about. If Abby here is a size 16, if, if you're maybe bigger than that, then you might need some extra pieces, you know, depending on your body. But is there anything else you wanted to say about that? I wanted to mention that it also depends on the shape of your body. Like, I have an hourglass figure, so it my waist is a lot smaller than my hips. My hips are pretty wide. So um, you kind of have to take that into consideration as well. Also, too, listen to your body. Don't overdo it with this thing. If, if you're getting sore, you're feeling pain, then I would stop, okay? Stop using the smart hula hoop. Also, too, you know, depending on your situation, there may be some people where this is not the greatest thing to, to use, okay? So you might want to think about that as well if you have maybe back problems or you have some other health issues that may not make using a smart hula hoop a good idea. So in terms of where Abby is at with uh, her smart hula hooping, my recommendation for you would just be to, to practice more. You know, practice more. Now that you're able to get it, you know, even if you have the string on there or if it's at the furthest distance, what I would work on is just trying to, you know, keep it going for longer periods. And then also trying to eventually get that, uh, you know, adjusting it a little bit closer so then you can do it closer to your body. Because really, I think that's the key, is you want to eventually get it closer so you can spin that thing faster. Because I do feel like that can give you a better workout if you can get it closer and then spin it faster around your body as well. So now I'm curious, what do you think about this smart hula hoop right here? Is it something that you would even recommend? Do you yes. think it's fun? Yes, it's really fun. I think that um, adults and kids would like it. I think kids especially because it's kind of, it's easier than hula hooping and it will, won't fall down. It's more fun because you don't have to worry about that aspect of it. And it's a lot easier because you can get the motion down and then once you switch to a hula hoop I think it would be easier too. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Now I'm curious which one do you like better? A hula you... hoop or a smart hoop? Yeah. <sighs> That's tough. I think I probably like the hula hoop better still. Okay, you're just saying that because you know if you said a smart hoop, I would have to stop this video right now <laughs> <laughs> and unfriend you in real life. <laughs> okay, hoops. <laughs> now, if you didn't get your questions answered in this video, I have a bunch of smart hula hoop videos on my channel, and I do recommend checking them out. Also, too, if you're interested in learning how to hula hoop for beginners, I have a bunch of uh, videos that will teach you some hula hoop tricks as well. Until next time, Enjoy, everyone.